<laughs> hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist here. This is our 2020 Subaru Outback Limited. So this is a nearly fully loaded Outback. There is one trim level above it, but this is the first trim level where you get into things like leather, navigation, a few other things like that that I'm gonna show you. At the back here, rear bumper, You've got the backup sensors. Those are the small little black circles there. They'll actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse. We have a proximity tailgate. So long as the key's on you, you block the Subaru logo back up, it'll open. They've made the opening and storage space in the back of the Outback larger so you can fit more stuff in it. Lots of room for hockey gear, luggage, sports equipment, whatever you need. Now, to go with that proximity tailgate, we've also got kind of a two-stage privacy cover. That's not a lot of height to put boxes in if you're carrying something. So all you do with your elbow, the box, you tap it and it goes up and that's quite a bit more load height. So tons of storage in the Outbacks now. You can actually lock everything from here. You've got the buttons or you can close it manually and it'll power assist. You can't wreck the door by doing it manually. In the second row, room to fit up to three people comfortably across. The Limiteds are all the leather, and this one happens to be the dark interior. The outer two seats are heated with high and low settings, and we've got two USB ports for any charging needs. With the proximity key, you can lock everything from the handle. You just press and hold, and it's locked. You wait a second, put your hand back in, unlocks. We have power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. And to go along with that, we've got two position memory settings that will remember your mirror, and your seat positions. It will not remember your lumbar support level though, because that can change. And it, unfortunately, it does not remember your thigh, thigh support level, because that's a manual adjustment. But you can extend it, kind of like sitting in a lazy boy when you have it all the way extended. Doesn't cut off circulation in your legs. Very, very comfortable on longer trips. Let's push button start. And you've got the little orange lights in the mirror. That's your blind spot warning. Let's you know if someone's in your blind spot or going to be there momentarily. Left-hand side of the steering wheel is our Bluetooth and audio controls, make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Right-hand side, adaptive cruise and lane centering. When you turn on the adaptive cruise, you get an image of the Outback. Four, three, two, one bars ahead of it. Each bar is the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up. So 100 kilometers an hour, four bars, 150 to 180 feet. Turn on the lane centering above 60 kilometers an hour. If the eyesight cameras here and here can see the road lines, you will see those lines illuminated so they'll uh and if you start drifting towards them it'll put you left or right to put you back to the middle of your lane limit is the first trim level with a heated steering wheel awesome in the winter it's incredible give it about 30 seconds your hands are nice and toasty 11.6 inches of touchscreen goodness in this got a small screen up top that displays a couple different things whether turn x mode on and off x mode's kind of like four by four low in a pickup I like the water temp, oil temp one myself. Like I was saying, nav, this is the first trim level where you get that. You also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you can plug in through the USBs for that. So if you're not a fan of this map, you can use your Apple Maps, your Google Maps. Still have tactile buttons for climate control for driver and passenger. It is dual zone, so I can adjust just the passenger. They want it a little higher, and I'm still a little warm. I can leave it cold. Same way to turn on the heated seats, you hit the button, defaults to high. This is also our backup camera. Second you put it in reverse, backup camera pops up, top of your bumper, something to relate to. We've got the rear assist braking and the parking sensors. My favorite feature ever, the auto dimming mirror. So there's no switch to flick. We've got our side mirrors that are the same. So you don't have to worry about that if someone's got their high beams on behind in the middle of the night. It's awesome. And then I don't know if the camera's going to focus, but you've got three buttons right there. That's your home link system. You can actually hook up to three different garage doors to the mirror. You don't have to carry a bulky vi opener on your visor. It's super handy, really easy to program. There's three different ways to program and they're all covered in the owner's manual. So that's a brief overview of the 2020 Subaru Outback Limited. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist. Talk to you guys soon.